I'll be talking about the new Hanshou 7.2 inch display. And we have that right here. So this is the first of its kind to be on YouTube and on social media. What's special about this new display, the 7.2 inch display, is that it resembles the Model X and S refresh rear entertainment system. Identically the same. The size may be slightly smaller. Just take a look at this. This thing comes fully assembled. This is the only plug you need to plug into the harness and it connects to the canvas plug on the bottom of the center console. The kit comes with the harness for your AMD or Intel. Make sure you select the correct one. And they also provide a pry tool and a plug for Model Y, adapter for USB-C to USB-A. So that's a nice accessory that it came with. And the instruction has been revamped. It's a lot clearer. And they have gone digital with a QR code that you can scan with your phone. So if you take a smartphone and you use the camera, you scan this barcode here, you can get the digital copy of the instruction to better help with the installation. This should be a 10 minutes or less installation. I would say approximately 10 minutes. It's fairly simple. You just need a pry tool. The kit comes with the canvas adapter plug to plug into the device. You have the plug for the Model Y and you also have the passenger seat control wire. If you do need that, we do have it separately. They do sell this separately. This allows you to control the seat, recline it, move it forward and backward. And of course the pry tool. There's a few notes. Make sure you read the instruction carefully before installation. Check whether the product list is complete and any damage before installation. Report this back to Hanshou if you notice anything wrong with the packaging. The installation instruction may be slightly different for each car. So make sure you watch tutorial videos if you're doing this installation yourself. It's highly recommend you take this to a professional but this display, it should be do-it-yourself for most people. It's very important you know what you're doing. Make sure the power is off, whether you want to go to safety and turn the power off or pull out your positive and negative 12 volt battery power. There's contact for after cells if you need that. Here's a few photos to show you what to do first. You want to pry the bottom cover open first. Take out the bottom cover, detach that blue wire. And they tell you step by step to do this. And for the original vent, it looks like this. So to remove this vent, you really don't need a pry tool. It actually just pops towards the back seat. So I'll demonstrate even with this seven inch, it comes out just like that. Very easy to install. It's held on by two clips and the new display will go on just like that as well. So this is probably the most simple install you can do with any handshow product outside of the carbon fiber piece and door sills. There's a wiring harness. So you do want to run the wiring harness from the bottom up. So from the bottom up. So basically, let me put the camera down. So when you have the pry tool, let me get the pry tool out using the pry tool that they provide. Pry it from the top. There's a crease and this one just comes right off. So this is the cover that you take off. So there I have a couple plugs down there already. One is for the live camera. Uh, one is for the display itself. Let's go ahead and power down the vehicle. So to power down the vehicle, go to control, 
safety. Scroll all the way down, hit power off, and we'll go ahead and pull this out. And there's gonna be a couple wires here, one to the USB port and the other to the display itself. So go ahead and disconnect the USB plug. Put that aside. This is the OEM plug. And now you have your actual display. Okay, so the old display is off. This is a, it's still new, but it is an old display for this car because it's been here for um, almost half a year. And then that plug that you just disconnect from the actual device is actually connected to the canvas down here. So go ahead and disconnect the canvas wire on the bottom, the blue one. I have a couple white ones here because there's other device connected. All right. So this is the old harness for the seven inch. So this is what connects to your car, blue wire, and then you just reconnect it and loop it back. You want to fish the wire where it has the teal green up top. So you really don't need a fish wire. You can actually just start pushing it up. It will, it will come from the bottom of the vent here. All right. So once you have the connection wire fish through you're basically done 80% of the installation already so this we just plug into that connection once you hear it click and it's connected now this adapter actually does not go back in so you actually use the u-loop connection this one here this connects to this and this just sits right there okay once you have it all tucked in make sure this wire goes around the vent and then clip in doesn't that look OEM wow looks amazing so let's go ahead and plug these back in on the bottom here and it snapped into place so this is a startup sequence this processor should be a lot quicker You can see the graphics is a lot cleaner. It's already connected to the vehicle. This resemble of the Model X and S refresh rear entertainment system is identical in the design. So it has the chrome trim. And this also has a protective film. So now we'll go through the functionality of this new 7.2 inch display from Handshow. So as you can see, you have full control of the climate system. You can turn it on or off. When you turn it on, you can control the speed of the fan. You can control the temperature. You can see it's in Fahrenheit. And I have to say, this display seems a lot more punchier. So you have your seat heater as well. You can turn on all of them or off. You can turn the display on and off. You can lock the screen. So the screen will put it in time. You can, of course, change the formatting on the actual time itself. So let's go to settings. So this is connection. So you go to display, wallpaper. So you actually can change a lot of things in here, but let's go to the regular setting. 
So regular setting, you can change the 24 hour time. You can do a 12 hour format. You can change the time zone. And you can change the unit from Fahrenheit to Celsius if you like. Reboot the display. So these are the main setting that you can do. Back to home. So this is the home page. And let's go back to settings, Android settings. So here you can connect to, to your Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi first. What this have over the OEM Model X and S display that I really like is that let's say you're sitting on the passenger side on the rear right side of the car and you want more leg room because no one's sitting in the front. You actually can control it here by going into the seat control, tap on chair to control. So you can see the arrows, you actually can move it back and forward just like that. How cool is that? So you can move it back, you can move it forward, you can tilt it back, you can tilt it forward to get more room for the vehicle. So the rear passenger can get more leg room without asking the front passenger. Of course, it comes with courtesy. But it works really well when you don't have a passenger up there. Let's say you have a child in the back, you have a child seat, and you're sitting in the back with the child, and you just want more leg room. You cannot reach to the front seats without getting outside the vehicle. So this display alone can control this. And then, of course, you can move it back for your parents and elderly person who doesn't know how to control the seat. You can help them with that. You can also recline it for your your partner, your girlfriend. Um, if they happen to be having a lot of um, things in their hands and they are not able to get to it um, and you want to give them more space, you can uh, also do that as well. I mean, just random scenarios. I'm not saying that will happen, but it's, very neat that you can control that you can also control the seat heater for the rear passenger so before you actually have to ask the driver or the front passenger to be able to turn this on and off so these are some of the controls that you can do so that's the seat controller the seat heater you can also adjust and increase and decrease the volume of your music you can skip song you can play, you can skip, go back, and so forth. You can lock this display. It just shows the clock here. Swipe up. You can also turn it off completely. Now, there were a few questions from some of the viewers asking if this turns off when you leave the vehicle or when you turn off the vehicle. The answer is yes, it actually turns off immediately. So let me demonstrate. The door is already open. If I, if I imitate that I'm leaving the vehicle, so I open the door, close the door, this will turn off just like that just like the main display as you see once I unlock or open the door again this will turn on and you have your volume controller here as I mentioned if you swipe down you can see all the apps that you currently or previously had open so it does have beach buggy you don't have this in the model SRX in the rear display i don't think um but don't quote me on that because i haven't seen i haven't been in the rear model s and x to play with it yet maybe you do however now you can do this in the model 3 and y so how how neat is that so if you have a game controller you can connect the actual data port here so there's two usb c or you can connect it by the wireless uh, controller So going back to home, let's take a look at what other application you can have. So there's YouTube. So you go to YouTube and some of this application you have to download when you get the display.
and you can actually have the sound play from your car speaker by connecting to the Tesla speaker or what's neat about this new display is you can connect it to a headphone in fact you can do it to any Bluetooth device and that gives you the ability to listen without disturbing any other passenger or your own driver in the vehicle. So how you do this is go back home and you can see here with Android you actually don't lose that app just like the latest Apple uh, iPhone software update it moves to the side so you can close that out and if you go down go to home then go to Android setting now go to connected device so click on Bluetooth here you can go ahead and connect to a Bluetooth device so go ahead and pair this by turning on the Bluetooth so here I found the Bose 700. That's it. Right here. So now it's pairing. It asks to confirm. Allow access to your contacts and call history. No. So hit pair. Okay, so now it's connected to this headset. I will go and test this with the video. Let's see the Joe Rogan again. Yep, it works. It works really well. So you can increase the volume from here. Or if your device has volume control, let me maximize it so you actually can hear. Whoever's sitting in the back seat can listen to their own music. In this case, kit music. How neat is that? Pantonic headset. Parable by pushing here. All right. Of you will only be able to pair it with one. Um, on the bright side, they do sell Bluetooth headsets that sync up with one Bluetooth connection. You cannot play it through the speaker and the headset. It's either one or the other. So hopefully that clears up for everyone asking about that. That's one good thing about this device. You can now do that with the 7.2 inch display. This device is that you have over the air update so you actually don't have to go to a computer. So there's a newer version. So since the last update, now there's a newer version. That's the best thing about over the air. Just hit confirm and it downloads the file for you. And using the server, it will automatically reboot and update the software. So this is really a standalone system. The only integration that it has with the vehicle is the seat controller, the seat heater, the fan controller, the temperature controller, the time, and also your car charge of state. It will show you that in the setting. You can also control the media and also the volume as well as uh, muting the volume. So now the kids can learn counting. Um, how many dinosaurs here? One. One. Oh, I have to drag it. There you go. Kids would love this. So why why let them watch the whole time? They can um, do some educational games here. And of course, there's games for adults. It is quick. There's no lag at all.
Oh, it's starting already. Let me uh, connect the speaker. Ah, I lost. Now I got a bunch of fingerprints on here, but the quality of this glass is very good. It actually feels like real glass. And the quality of this glass is very solid. It's real glass. It looks to be anti-finger resistant as well. So if you're interested in this 7.2 inch display, please check out the link in the description and also use the promo code to get a discount on it. Right now the price is still fairly low, but as demand increases, this price may go up in the near future. So make sure you get your hands on these. I think this is probably the best out there today. So take an opportunity and take advantage of the low price right now. Catch you on next time. Remember to subscribe.